Hi guys, it's me Ty and here I am with another unboxing. Here I have an Android number 525 Kogisune Maru from the popular online browser game Token Rambo Online. Now Kogisune Maru is the third figure release but only the second figure that I have from Token Rambo. Um, I just saw him and I just could not resist even though I'm trying to limit myself on Token Rambo figures since there's so many of them. But um, if you don't know, Kogisune Maru, his name means something like small fox or something like that and so you can clearly see with his design some of the similar fox features that he has like you can see with his hair how it kind of comes out a bit like ears I love that isn't it great so cute i love the detail and design uh good smile company really put a lot of detail when it comes to the token rambo nendoroids and you can definitely see that even just through the front screen of the box. Um, he doesn't come with much. You can see a small figure of the little fox navigator from the game, Konosuke. And you can see two versions of his sword. But yeah, so here's the front of the box. Looking cute. Really cute. I love that. He has like even slight little fangs with his teeth. Um, here it is from the top. Here he is at the bottom. I love this face the best. It's so cute. From the side, here he is with Konosuke. Bob. This side, that face again, which is adorable. This one. And finally, on the back. So yeah, guys. Can't wait to open this one up and see how he is. Um, like I said, Good Smile Company put so much detail in the Munichika. I'm really expecting a lot from this figure. Even though he doesn't come with much, he doesn't need to. Just look at his outfit. It's so detailed. Like, definitely a great showpiece for the shelf. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, I didn't quite show before, but it kind of has like a orangey brown background, and you can clearly see his number in the back, similar to um, all the. Newer okay, Nandorts. first out of the box is the instruction sheet, as we've seen a hundred times, uh, but unlike the other times we've seen them, like with Munichika, this one comes in a plastic baggie, and that's because similar to the one with Munichika, um, this comes with the code for the game to use I guess for like a special background or something like that I don't quite remember for what um, but it's in here so hence the baggie um, anything else in here let me see nope just that first edition code and like I said here is the instructions um, it doesn't have a card like Munichika did yep but uh, anyway here we have Kogi Sunamaru. And again, like I said, you can see that it's very limited in items. It's just him, Konosuke, the two versions of the sword, like two extra arms, well, three, and two extra face plates. Okay, and next we have the typical Nendoroid extra neck joint, as we've seen also. Um, and here we have his base uh but unlike most nendoroid bases for the newer models this one is circular not like the little pegboards we've been seeing and it has kogisunemaru's crest on it from the game so really cool really unique um munichikas was similar munichikas had his crest on it as well so i love when they put little features like this because it really makes it unique to that nendoroid rather than that that plain square base so yeah really cute you can see, I guess it's supposed to be like a fox face. I'm not sure, but really cute. And um, here's the little, I don't want to call it arm for the base. Because it's very tiny and I haven't seen one similar to this before. Um, I'm not even quite sure yet how we use this. But I guess they made it this tiny because the Nendoroid really does have a lot of hair. So it would really make it difficult to have like a typical Nendoroid base arm to put it in its back. So... Hence, this little piece here. Really cool. Really trying to figure out how it's used, though. First up, I'm going to just uh, the extra faceplate, which is this one. Kind of like a smirking expression, which is really adorable. You can kind of see, like, this side tilts up a little bit more. So even though he's smiling, he really looks like he's being cunning. Very cute. I really like that. Next facial expression is... They call it an exhilarating expression based on like some line he does from the game. Um, but I just think he looks like hyper and happy. Really cute. I love like the little red lines for the blushing on the face. Adorable. 
Okay, and following along from extra face plates, here we have the game's navigator, Konosuke. And though, whenever you, he's the one that kind of guides you through the tutorial when you first start playing Token Rambo, um, considering he is also a fox, uh, they thought it was a great idea to pair him with Kogi Sunamaru. And I agree, they look so cute together. Just wait till I put them together. But as you can see, he has his face um, all painted up with special markings and designs. Sorry, it's not really focusing too well, guys. He is pretty tiny. See him compared to my fingertips? Yeah, very small. Um, kind of see the design here on his back leg. And his tail has a tiny little joint to, so you're able to like shift it okay. from side to and side. And also, just to go on, here is Kogi Sunamaru's sword. As you can see, same as with Munachika's, it's very well detailed. I love like the gold metallic paint over it and the little designs on it. See the tips off of it? And I love how he added like this little dangly, um, I forget what this is called, but yeah, really lets the swords very cute on the sheath. Same with this unsheathed okay, version. Okay guys, and here we have Kogi Sunamaru without all the excess plastic. And as I said guys, he's amazing. Look at this. He's so cute. Look. Um, I love how with his outfit is always one is off one shoulder, how he keeps one shoulder out. And as I said before, he has a ton of hair, lots of hair, hair everywhere. Um, I like that these beginning, I don't, well, I'm not sure if I like it yet, but as you can see the, here, these hair pieces like here, they're like soft, plasticky, vinyl-y, so they don't get in the way of posing, I guess. But it's just kind of awkward compared to like, these are slightly harder plastic like the rest of his hair, and then you have like these soft, squishy pieces here. So it's a bit weird, but like I said, it's still very cute. And like I said, his outfit is still very detailed. Um, can you see it's kind of losing focus? Sorry. But you can see all the slight details all around his waist. You can see how it wraps around him. Even from his back, you can see what I meant about how the sleeve is off. And unlike other Nendoroids, he does not have one of the holes in the back for a peg. So yeah, it makes okay. it very interesting. So yeah, tons of hair. Um, I love how even this bottom hair piece is kind of on a little joint, so you're able to move it out of the way and from side to side. Yeah, I just knocked it off. Okay, as you saw from before, um, it's not really on a joint. It's really mostly like a little peg, so it can come off, so just be careful. But you are able to turn the piece from side to side. So slight articulation, guys. But yeah, it looks very cute, even with the little sandals on his feet. Alright, so let's get into some posing. Okay, and first pose up, and here we have Kogi Sunamaru. Um, not quite sure what he's up to, but he does look like he's up to something. As you can see, he's smiling, he looks like he's out and about, but at the same time, he does have his sword with him, and his hand is up. And he does kind of have like a sly look when it's turned to the side this way. Kind of like he's like giving you the eye. So yeah, very cute Nendoroid. Um, didn't have too many problems putting this pose together because basically it's a simple pose. And um, aside from adding the sword and changing the one hand, it's basically the way he was straight out of the box. However, um, with all the hair he has, he has a lot of hair. Um, it gets in the way of kind of things like the sword you have to put it just so or the hero knock it down and same for the arms but um it wasn't too difficult to do other than that he looks fantastic and I love this pose so far like this is definitely one that looks like it'll be perfect on a shelf can you see especially like he just I love that sideways look he has and I love that if you guys can't really tell with his smile but you can see slight little things so yeah definitely a cute figure I really love that Oh, and as for the base, because he has so much hair, um, this is similar to the old style, the way that Nendoroids used to be put on their bases when they had circular bases, um, except this piece is different. But it basically works the same way. See how it's split in the middle? Can you guys see? It comes up between this back part of his Hakama. And see where this little notch piece is? That's what this little tiny notch piece there is for. So it kind of goes between those two plastic pieces to fit like so but yeah that's it um very cute I really do like this his sword is falling because of the hair like I said but uh yeah so far depending on how the other poses go this one is definitely a winner just like that
Okay guys, and second pose up. And as we can see, Kogi Sunamaru looks like he's ready to battle. But uh, with the smirking expression now on his face, it's almost like he dared someone to fight him and they took him up on the offer. Very cool pose, I really like it. Once again, it's very simple. He's not quite with the sideways look this time. Um, but like I said, it looks very simple, but there was it was a little bit tricky. And for a clumsy person like me, it was kind of horrible. Um, not to say it would be like that for everyone, but uh, like I said before, his hair kind of gets in the way of different things. And so trying to just keep the sword in place while keeping the sheath on his side, um, it did take me a few extra minutes to get that together. But other than that, there wasn't really any problems. But yes, as you can see, um, I was expecting difficulties with fitting the sword in his hand as that tend to happen a lot with uh, Nendoroids and Figma and things like that. However, it slid right in. It was fine. And um, all you had to do was take this little blue piece off. It pulls off the end. Uh, use this as a thing. Well, it doesn't really do it on this one, but on this one, it just pulls right off the end. Um, and you can slide it in easily and then reattach it. Also, the same goes for where the sheath is that's the same sword as before except that the handle is able to come off as you can see with the peg on the end so yeah despite that really cool pose i love it, especially this way he really looks like he's ready to fight someone really love it so yeah all in all um between this one and the first pose I don't know, it's hard to say because as soon as I turn it to the side this way, I really just love this pose. But the other one was so simple and just so beautiful. i um, not quite sure yet. I'll have to see after the next one. So, yeah, on to the next pose. Okay, guys, next pose up is what they consider his exhilarating pose. But I just think he looks adorable and cute and like he's like laughing really hard. Um, but yeah, like I said, they call it the exhilarating pose based on a line he says in the game. But to me, he just looks really jolly and happy and just like he's having a really good time partying. So yeah, really cute expression. I love this. Like with his hand up, it really looks like he's about to cover his mouth and laugh like really hard. Um, and I do love the blushing on his cheeks. Very cute. But other than that, very simple pose. Like just no difference to it whatsoever except for a face change, a face plate change. But um, yeah, really cute. Really adorable. Okay, last and final pose, and I have to do this very fast, guys, because it's not going to stay. Um, but here we have uh, Kogi Sunemaru kind of leaning over to pet uh, Konosuke a bit. And right off the bat, it's, no, it's not as well done as it is on the side of the box. Um, the, that's because there's some difficulties. Um, one, it's a little bit hard to get the arm exactly how it is on the box in that you have to switch around different like the forearm with a different hand with a different shoulder compared to what just comes straight from the box also uh with konosuke uh he's pretty top heavy his head is much bigger than his tiny little legs and it's no way he can't really stand on his own so you kind of have to lean him on to kogi sunamaru's side to kind of balance him and that won't last long at all it took me a couple of tries to really get it just so i can do this last bit of filming um, but it is a really cute pose but it just isn't very viable um even with trying to get kogi sunamaru's head to tilt over a little bit to kind of lean look down a little bit um it's a little hard to do because of so much of his hair is in the way um but it definitely really is a cute pose so it's a shame that i couldn't get it to stay and couldn't get it to look um quite as well as it does on the box um but that said i still really like this nendoroid um there are some difficulties with it. I mean, there's, I don't want to call it difficulties because it's nothing really major. Um, and it is a really simple Nendoroid. It's mostly for looks rather than any accessories or things like that. Um, but I do really love it. So final score, I would have to say, hmm, I want to give it an 8. It kind of leaves that seven and a half, eight 8 range. And that's just because it doesn't really have much with it. And because uh, it, it was some slight difficulties I had with things falling off and not quite able to get Konosuke to stand correctly. But just because it has that score doesn't mean it's a bad Nendoroid at all. Like I said, it wasn't a bad price. And um, it's definitely beautiful to look at. And it will go well if you just plan to have it up on your shelf or something like that. Um, but yeah, guys. So that's it for now. Hopefully I didn't bore you guys. And sorry if this went a little bit quick. Um, there were a ton of distractions around me while I was trying to get through this. But yeah, I'm still sad a little bit that this post can't stay because it is very cute.
But yeah, so that's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.